Hello, my name is Paul and here's all the stuff you need to know to pass your Part 107 test the first time starting right now. We'll make this fast and everything I talk about is going to be a link in the video description below. Number one is Tony Northrup's video on getting your Part 107 license. It's super long at two hours but extremely valuable. Number two is Altitude University's video on getting your Part 107 license. It's a little bit more updated and it talks about stuff that Tony didn't. Number three is Altitude University's video on how to read a sectional chart. It's extremely valuable as sectional charts are pretty intimidating. All those videos are long but I only watched them once. I would stop, take notes, hit play, stop stop, take notes, hit play, you get the idea. All those videos are extremely valuable and definitely watch and take notes, but the most valuable thing and the thing that I attribute me passing the test is this app. It costs a couple of bucks, but it's definitely worth it. Out of all the YouTube videos I watched when I was researching for my test, there was only one video that even brought this app up, and I think it's the biggest thing you need to do to pass the test. So thanks, Tom Buck. The app gives you a bunch of random tests. The tests look very much like the actual test, and when you go to take the test, some of the questions on the app are actually on your test. So I just took as many tests as I could. That's pretty much all I did for about a week. Once you start testing within 90% or more, you're ready to take the test. So you feel ready to take the test, here's essentially what you do next. Go to the FAA website, go to drones, then you're gonna click here. The FAA does have a study guide for the test, so you can use that. Personally, I didn't use it. Click on becoming a drone pilot. Everything on this page is self-explanatory and walks you through the whole process. After you pass your test, you're not officially done yet. You have to go back to the FAA site, you have to fill out this application, and then wait for your actual certificate to come in the mail. In the meantime, you will be given a temporary certificate so you can still go out and fly. My personal experience with the test is that most of the questions I felt pretty good about, admittedly about a dozen I wasn't too sure about, but if you do all this studying, just use the process of elimination and you'll do fine. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button as it does help me out, and and if you're into hiking, outdoor exploration, and watching me fly my drone, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and happy flying. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map.